uh, hi guys so in the last last video we talked about this uh, gatekeeper service and we also started building the controller and services we already have done the integration with the firebase by just providing this firebase.initialize app right now i can access the the admin because i am exporting this from here export default admin right i can use this in my firebase service what I just need to do is I need to get the token. I need to just check that my token is matching with the bearer. If yes, we are good. If not, then invalid bearer token. What we want is your token should be starts with the bearer space your GWT token, right? So we are doing get token. We will get the token string. So here we need a token string without the bearer. So that is a token string. And we just need to call this admin dot auth dot verify id token. This method is provided by Firebase to validate the, the identity of token. That's it. In auth zero, we have to do a lot of things, but in the Firebase, if you want to validate the token, you have to call this method admin dot auth dot verify token. Pass the token string. It will give you the decoded token. And from the decoded token, you can get the email, you can get the auth ID, UID, all these respective things. And this is what we need in this simple service. So I will be calling this from the auth controller. This is my authenticate method, right? From this authenticate method, we are calling this. And we are calling the service method authenticate. That is giving us what we need, right? It is simply giving us the, the token. And here we will get... In the response, we are going to get email and the user ID. That is what we need, right? So this is what pretty much we have in the service. We will use the cache module with the Redis in this service, which we will extend further. But the basic need is now achieved. This is the API tag. We are a token means we need to provide authorization header. And we have already configured the Swagger setup. And uh, we can also add other things in the API I mean for the swagger doc what all things we need here for this get request like once the, the token is done we should be getting this particular response right if uh, this is a bad request if this this can return unauthorized 401 it can return uh, bad request 400 or it can return API okay response where you will see is authenticated not as a boolean but it will just return the 200 that means that your token is valid if you are getting a 401 means you are unauthorized if you are getting 400 means you are not providing the token in authorization header these are just helpers so that swagger doc can explain things to the end user right this is the authenticate design point and this is what we are doing okay if nothing uh, i mean if we are getting the error right then we can just throw unauthorized server exception right so here Okay, we are already throwing this bad request, so we can throw unauthorized server exception here. Unauthorized server exception and we are passing the error object. So, only unauthorized server exception can come from this. Because for bad request, we are already, we have already done the checking here. If auth token is not there, send the bad request exception. Okay, so this is pretty much we have for this particular service. Now I will bootstrap it. We will have another service. This is typically not a service, just a particular endpoint. But with the caching, we may have the logout, logout mechanism, initialize session, validate session, all these different APIs. And this can also persist your session data in the cache. And your email can be your uh, the key. So other microservices can get the user data on the fly from anywhere. Okay. So that's it. Uh, now what you what I will suggest you look at the GraphQL documentation, try to understand, make, make yourself more familiar with the GraphQL implementation. And then next thing we are going to start with the GraphQL. Okay, uh, thanks everyone.